Well, we're definitely in the thick of sales season now, and there's an exciting one coming up in the States next week, and Reed Ringler joins me to tell me all about the Mid-Atlantic Sale, which is a big one, isn't it? You've got a, a lovely bunch of horses going through the ring, around about 590. Yep, Laura, um, good to see you. Yes, just under 600 head uh, going through the auction. It happens just after Preakness, which is the 17th and 18th of May. So it takes place in Baltimore, Maryland. Um, sale usually averages about 80,000 US. Uh, it's a terrific sale. It's uh, a very broad range of horses or something for everyone, as we like to say. We'll sell horses from 5,000 US up to a million plus US. Uh, so something for everybody there. Yeah, it's, it's a great sale. And of course, it's been very well advertised recently because Gamine, what a star she is. And she's a graduate. Yeah, she is special. Um, champion uh, Philly Sprinter last year, came back at Churchill Downs uh, this past weekend on the Derby undercard, won another grade one uh, very impressively after stumbling at the gate. Uh, so she's a graduate of the sale who's kind of our, our poster child right now. But it's it's very nice to have a catalog next to me, and we have uh, the UAE Oaks winning Menasic on, on the back of the catalog this year, which is exciting. Yeah, she's a brilliant one, isn't she? I mean, she kind of snuck up on them, I, I think. Graduate of the sale, as you say, came here. They thought they had better fillies. Not the case. She was absolutely brilliant in the UAE Oaks. Yeah, no, um, she was fantastic. And when she had her breeze up at Timonium, she was just kind of a, an empire maker filly that was a little bullet. She just trucked around there. And um, she was kind of a bargain buy for, for the connections, um, but they believed in her, took her over there, and she's performed really well. Also had Switzerland at the carnival, who is a graduate of, of this sale. And um, so, no, the sale's been very productive in the past. We've sold horses, uh, champions like Dortmund and Bayern, Mucho Gusto came out of the sale. Uh, so it's been a really productive sale the last four or five years. And you've had a lot of interest from Middle Eastern buyers and Doug Watson, of course, the trainer of, of Manassek and also Rio Angie, who he bought with you. He's going to head over. You expect him in the next week or so? Yeah, uh, Doug's going to come over. He's had some terrific luck at the sale, as you said, with Rio Angie in Manassek. And hopefully we'll have some other uh, participants from Dubai over here that have reached out to us through some third parties. Um, it's interesting. The pandemic has kind of allowed us, it's kind of forced our hand with more internet bidding and, and more business being conducted online with basic Tipton. So if people want to, to bid online, which as you say is, is becoming huge, they can, there's plenty of time for them to look through all the videos, isn't there? And then is, is it just as simple as establishing an account? Yeah, so um, it's interesting. You can access everything online now through basictipton.com. So the Breeze Up show or is online live. Uh, May 11th, 12th, and 13th, so next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, uh, starts at 8 o'clock in the morning uh, Eastern time here in the United States. Uh, so we'll breeze about 200 horses a day. Um, so you can watch all of that live. Um, you can register to bid online through basictipton.com. It's a very easy process. Um, there's a lot of confidence in the system. We've sold a lot of high-priced horses um, online in the, in the last year overseas. Um, so it's a terrific way to do business. Like I said, the pandemic kind of forced our hand to explore new ways of doing business. Um, we've exported a lot of horses after they've been sold online that have been productive. Um, so we kind of expect that trend to continue. Uh, 